the Bedubo. In this video, I'm going to show you how you work out problem one in the June 2020 MS paper one advanced level ZIMSEC paper. Okay, so the question one it says by means of substitution, so you're you're given a guideline here. You can actually use substitution, and you're also given the key. So the key to substitution would be uh, y equal to x to the power one third. So you're given this guide, and then they also say or oh, otherwise. Otherwise simply means you can use any other method to solve the same problem. Okay, and then the problem it's uh it says uh, x to the power third minus minus x to the power negative uh, third equal to two. Okay, so you're asked to solve this equation. You can solve it. Uh, in the way that they instructed, or you can find your own way to uh, solve the method, the problem, and still find. So I'm going to show you uh, both methods. Okay, so I'm going to show you by means of substitution, and then I'm also going to show you a method that you can use, which is technically quicker. Okay, so the first method you should prepare for substituting y equal to x to the power one third year. So how would you go about it? I'm going to check my original expression. And I'm going to create uh, x to the power one third in an explicit way, such that you, you know that I'm, I'm just supposed to plug in x to uh, y on x to the power one third here. So this one is already prepared for, for me because it's x to the power one third, so which is fine. But then this one is not quite prepared. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, x to the power one third, and then I'm going to say to the power negative one here. Uh, I just used a, a law of, of, of indices, so there is a law. We say is um, a to the power x y is equal to a to the power x to the power y like this. Okay, so I didn't violate anything. Uh, the reason I just did this is so that I can I can be sure that I can make clear that I'm supposed to substitute y here. My answer is supposed to give me two. So now I can I can substitute y. So I'm going to put y here minus. Then this one will be three y equal to 2. This one will be 3 y to the power negative 1 because we have this power here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to multiply throughout by by y. The reason I want to do this is so that I can get rid of the negative power here. Okay. And I can also form the quadratic equation that can give me the, the values for y. So here it would be x or y squared then minus this one when you multiply it by y it becomes y to the power 0 which is simply uh, a case of y disappearing. This one I get 2y like this, okay? Uh, so you, we have multiplied each and every, each each term here by y, that's what we did. And now we are just going to uh, put the terms to one side in preparation of or solving this equation, this quadratic equation, okay? So here it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an equation, it's, it's a simple quadratic equation for which you can factorize like directly. So which is good. We want our two numbers such that we uh, get the product. Product equal to minus three, okay. So, and then the sum equal to, equal to minus two. So the product would be uh, this value here. Okay, so the product, since uh, the coefficient of y, it's equal to one, the product would be this value here, okay. And then the sum would be, the sum would be this value here, okay. The coefficient of, of the y in the medium. So after doing this, I'm going to I'm going to factorize uh, using the, the two numbers that satisfy my, my criteria and so that satisfy the product and also the sum. For this case, it'd be I'm, I'm just going to uh, put back y, okay? So it's it's fine like this. And then for this case, it'd be uh, negative three and and one because negative three plus one you get negative two, which is our sum, and uh, negative three. Multiply by negative one and get negative three, which satisfies our, our product. So this is fine like this. And I'm, I'm going to get either this bracket equal to zero or the next bracket equal to zero. Okay, so a, a y uh, plus one equal to zero. I'm going to get y equal to, uh, when I transpose this, when you push this one to the side, it becomes uh, positive. And when you push this one to the side, it will become negative. Okay, just in, uh, so, so you know. So this one you get three or y equal to negative one like this. So I'm going to substitute back x to the power one third, because that's, that's what I had in the, in, the, in the beginning, and I had substituted y equal to x to the power one third. So I'm going to substitute it back. 
So I get x to the power one third equal to equal to three, or x to the power one third equal to equal to negative one like this. Okay. So uh, now you can you can say to the power three because that's how you get rid of uh, or to the power one third. Okay. So you can say to the power three, and also here is the same thing to the power three, to the power three. Okay. So when you, whenever you are you're given uh, uh, what whatever fraction that you're given as a power to get rid of it you just uh, power again by the reciprocal so the reciprocal for one third it's equal to three such that when you since the the, the products the, the indices they they can multiply when you multiply them you just get one so here you get x equal to this one will be 27 like this so this one would be your your answer or x equal to this one will give you negative one of course because uh, it's um, negative one, multiply by negative one, then you get one, then multiply by negative one, then you get negative one, okay? So you get x equal to 27 or x equal to negative one. You can actually write, therefore, x equal to 27 or x equal to negative one, okay? So 27 or negative one. So this is how you, you go about it. I'm going to show you a, uh, another method, uh, which is technically faster because you, you don't actually need to um to substitute okay so it's it's more or less the same uh procedure but then the only difference is we are not going to substitute uh for uh for x to the power one third okay so the way that you go about it is you have x to the power one third this one you can create you can uh think of it as that's your base number so for, for example let's say you had um uh, a x squared plus b x plus c like this. You can think of uh, x to the power one third as your as your square here. Uh, it's going to become apparent why I'm saying that. Okay, so here we can say negative uh, three. Then here would be x to the power one third as well, like this, equal to two. So you can actually multiply by x to the power one third throughout. So here you'd get x to the power one third to the power two. Okay, since you you're multiplying by x to the power one third. Then minus three here equal to uh, two x to the power one third. One way to uh, go about it is you could you could actually skip this step, uh, especially when you get a hang of it and understand the uh, procedure. You can actually skip this step and then just go straight ahead and multiply throughout by x to the power one third. You would actually get the the same thing. Okay, so you'd get x to the power one third to the power three uh, to the power two here. Then minus 2x to the power one third minus three. So this one you can recognize it as a, as a quadratic expression in x to the power one third. It's similar to uh, the y to the power two minus y or um, two y minus minus three. Okay, so it's, it's it's the same thing. The only difference is um, um, now instead of having a, an actual variable, you just have uh, x to the power to the power one third. Okay. So what we're going to do is to factorize in the same way. So I'm going to say since this is a quadratic in x to the power one third, I'm going to put x to the power one third on one side and x to the power one third on another side. Okay, so equal to zero. I'm just going to look for, for numbers such that my product is negative three, just like we did previously. And my sum is, is negative two. We say that it's uh, negative three and, and plus one. Okay, so x to the power one third, first bracket must be equal to zero or x to the power one third the next bracket must also be equal to equal to zero okay so i'm going to put plus one here i wanted to skip a step uh that's not really advisable so here i can say x to the power one third equal to this one would be three or x to the power one third equal to negative one okay at this point it's identical to where we were uh, with uh, that other one, okay. So the only difference is that we didn't need to actually substitute for anything. We we just inspected our equation and then we realized that it was a quadratic exp expression, uh, and then we could factorize it accordingly. So here you get x equal to uh, 27 or x equal to negative one. Negative one in the sense of uh, uh, negative one multiply by negative one, then you get one. Then multiply by negative one, then you get negative one. Okay, like this. So you can therefore conclude x equal to 27 or x equal to negative 1. It's still the same problem that we did and we got the same answer, okay? 
So this is this is, has been this has been fun for for me. I hope it was fun for you as well. But essentially, that's how you go about it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna hop over. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Okay, so uh, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You both out.